actually notice now that you can see the top of my head, unlike the other video. So thank you for the feedback. Well today, I wanted to talk about the new Facebook and what this means for your business page. Now you may have noticed that there has been a lot of different changes, especially to the home page when you first land on there. You've got that weird little ticker thing over there in the corner that's basically giving you live updates as they happen, and a lot of them, almost like a Twitter stream. And then you've got the, reg the rest of the stuff in the middle that is mostly the top news, and you can even set that to be all news if you want, so you're getting the most recent stuff. But just in case you weren't aware, what ends up in the top news is actually the most popular things. Basically things that Facebook thinks that you need to hear. So whether it be a, a post that has a lot of comments and a lot of likes, or if this is somebody's profile that you visited often, there's a lot of different factors that contribute to it, but it's sort of like Google that is trying to make your life easier and say, eh, here's the stuff that you should know, the rest of it's just uh, whatever. So here's some changes that are going on for your business and things that you need to be more aware of so that you can use your time wisely and focus in on being an effective marketer on Facebook. So what do these changes mean for your company? Well, your company, you're obviously on Facebook, you're posting stuff on there, and you want the most amount of people possible to see it. You want people to see it so that they can comment, so that they can ask questions, so that they can share it with other people, so that they can like it. But it's not going to be possible unless it gets in someone's status update feed or it gets in their ticker. So one thing to keep in mind is how fast information is going to be exchanging now. And what this means is you need to make incredible content. That first sentence, that first couple of lines are crucial now. That this thing is going to be f moving very fast. You have to catch people's attentions right off the bat. You should really invest a lot of time into coming up with the first couple of sentences and condensing what you have to say into short little, little bites. This is so important because you only have a second or two to catch these people's attention. Now the other thing that you have to keep in mind when you are considering these new changes to Facebook is the amount of time that you post. Because these things will pop up in the ticker that's just going on and on, and because these will pop up in people's nudes feeds, you really need to be more mindful of how many times you're posting. Especially if your content isn't that great, if you're just posting coupons, if you're just posting things just to keep things on Facebook then it's going to get annoying for a lot of people, especially if they see it often, and they're most likely going to unsubscribe or unlike from your page. So be mindful of how many times you're posting and keep your content incredible. The other thing that this means for your Facebook page is all this interaction that is going on on Facebook is going to make people much more quick about what they check and about what they don't, and they're going to expect to get information a lot quicker. So what that means for you as a business owner and somebody who, who is managing a Facebook page is you have to be much faster at responding to questions, responding to negative comments, potential issues, and also thanking people for subscribing, thanking people for liking you, and also thanking people for kind words and testimonials that they give you on your Facebook page. That's, this is just going to become expected. I mean, haven't you guys noticed that when it comes to an email, when it comes to a phone call, it, there used to be about a day buffer, but with Facebook, with Twitter, something like that, it's, it's almost offensive if you take longer than an hour to respond to something on there because information has become so immediate and these new changes in Facebook are an excellent example of that. So I hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any questions about where to find new things, if you can't find it on Google, feel free to shoot me an email. I think the new Facebook is pretty cool. It really gives me that same feel as Twitter has, but it's now it's on Facebook. I can see more information at the same time. So, so far, I've been enjoying it. Let me know what you think. Go ahead and post a comment and just let me know if you like it, if you don't like it. It's always interesting to hear your feedback.